Hi everyone, I'm Rashi Miguel Nuevo from Tom 11 and today we are going to discuss about the Fibonacci sequence and the golden ratio. So first, let's go back to where the Fibonacci sequence began. So who is Leonardo of Pisa? Fibonacci is a nickname of Leonardo of Pisa. Fibonacci is the greatest European mathematician of the Middle Ages, born in 1170 and died on 1240. He introduced the Arabic number system in Europe. So, paano nga ba nagsimula ang Fibonacci sequence? Fibonacci sequence started with a pair of rabbits. What? Fibonacci sequence was discovered after the investigation on the reproduction of rabbits. So, bakit nga ba rabbits? How and why? The problem is, suppose a newly born pair of rabbits, one male, and one female are put in a field. Rabbits are able to mate at the age of one month, so that at the end of the second month, a female can produce another pair of rabbits. So let's consider this illustration. Fibonacci sequence is an integer in the infinite sequence 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and so on, of which the first two terms are 1 and 1, and each succeeding term is the sum of the two immediately preceding. Simple rule, add the last two to get the next. So let's go back to the rabbits. How many pair will be there in one year? So we'll just add the last two terms. There you go, 144 pairs will be there at the end of one year. Don't you know, math is everywhere. Fibonacci sequence is also present in nature, what? just like the sunflower. If you observe, the spiral structure of the sunflower has a Fibonacci sequence. Next up is the golden ratio. The golden ratio is often denoted by the Greek letter pi. This is approximately equal to 1.618. The golden ratio can be expressed as the ratio between two numbers. I told you, math is everywhere. The golden ratio is also in nature. What? Just like the Mona Lisa painting and the Notre Dame Cathedral. Did you get it? Come on, let's solve a word problem. Ira wants to send her picture to Rashi. She wants the picture frame to be a golden rectangle so that she will look good in it. If Ira wants the width of the frame to be 1 foot long, what should be the value of the frame? Use 6.18 as the value of the golden rectangle. So first, let's substitute the pi, 1.618. Then let's substitute the w, which is 1 foot. Next, we need to cross multiply. 1.618 times 1 foot is equal to 1.618 foot. So that is the length that we needed in order to have a golden rectangle. Thank you! I hope you learned something today. Once again, I'm Rashi Villanueva from Tom 11.